Drinking water. Cleaner? How many hands left to get clean? We just got home about mm, 20 minutes ago. And she, she actually sat in the carrier for a little while. I mean, not long, just a couple minutes before she'd come out. I think she was a little bit traumatized. I could not get urine. I couldn't, I mean, I tried everything. I even tried, like, sneaking uh, one of the little cup things under her. But the good news is he didn't have to use a needle to go get it. I really was scared he was going to have to um, put a needle in her bladder. But because I kept messing with her so much this morning, she had like almost a full bladder. So they do this thing, it is amazing, where they squeeze, like the vet tech holds her like by the scruff, which is another thing that y'all, if you don't know about, which I did not, is amazing. Um, they hold her by the scruff and then they, the vet like kind of pushed with two hands like on either side of her stomach and she pee came out which okay but it was amazing they did not have to stick a needle in her bladder so that was great um, and they did a couple scrapes well not you know they take like this big long q-tip and they scrape you know over along her stomach to look for i don't know if they're looking for fungus and bacteria he gave me a whole list of stuff to look at Okay, we had to take a break. She got a little stressed. Um, yeah, sometimes you can like just tell by her face that she's stressed or anxious. But he did the test just to be sure, you know, that she's not doing it for like a medical reason instead of a psychological reason. Uh, but we won't know that for a while. He did do a worm check, you know, he took the thing her bottom okay he did do the thing on her bottom and on the initial exam he looked under the microscope and he said it looked clean but they're also gonna send it with the urine to make sure he said because you know sometimes you can't see them just regularly I don't know they have to like grow cultures or something look at you you're so pretty but we're not going to change up her diet at all until all the test results come back just simply because we don't want to mess with her stomach you know adding subtracting food that kind of thing okay i've recorded this i don't know how many times i don't know what it's going to sound like or look like towards the end but in conclusion we don't know anything about her diet yet i'm not going to stress about like where to get it how to get it and how much it is until we know anything and I will update on what it says or what all the results say but right now we're just I'm just gonna let her try to de-stress and look around okay and to move on to the weirdness of my life because there's always something weird. So we had, well I have help, but we got all the stuff from around the tree. We haven't put it in the front yet. But I'm really kind of sad about it because like the toads and like the squirrels and the small birds and stuff loved it. And Genji actually likes to take a nap in it. But my neighbor, look, but there, the dogs are so excited. There's like all new smells. My neighbor came racing over to my house yesterday, and she was like, there's a snake in my house. And I was like, oh, and she does not do bugs. And I was like, no, there's not. And she said, yes, there is. So I got my leather gloves, and I went over there, and there was, there was a snake. Now, it wasn't a huge snake. It was only about mm, 15 inches. It was a little bit more. It was probably a little bit more than a foot. But I, did, I had to get the snake out of her house. And then um, I took it down. We have some woods at the end of the street. And I took it and put it in there. But I thought, 
Ooh, because I really think it was a baby snake. And I thought, ooh, there's a baby snake. There's a mama snake. And I felt bad because I thought, oh, I bet it came from over here. Which, I didn't find any snakes in here, so I don't know. So I don't know where the mama is. You know how my windows are always dirty? Well, I cleaned them like three days ago. And look at this. They're already filthy again because of all these stupid little flies because I leave my back door open. But the day I cleaned my windows, look what I got. I got the best Instagram post of the cat on focus. Oh, look at that. I was leaving and I looked up and they were in the window. Is that not the most precious little picture? Oh. So see, cleaning is important sometimes. This is a new thing he started. He like, he doesn't eat the cardboard, but he kind of tears up the cardboard. Oh, maybe he eats the cardboard. Gentle. Gentle. I know she won't play with you.